Hello everyone and welcome to our little corner of Jurassic Park. We're on our own little section of the island and everybody is doing so well. There's so many- Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Okay, so our bear and uh, uh Can I get down to see him? I want to see you, little dude. I want to get a good look at you. Why is it so stubborn about letting me zoom in sometimes? Well, our little bear and uh, who's doing super awesome. There we go. Look at him! Isn't he so cute? We just evolved him, so he's got some really nice tiger stripes and dots and all sorts of amazing coloring now. And then, of course, we've evolved our little one horn guy, so he's doing pretty well. Look at him. Look at him. He's just being adorable. Let's see. Let's collect from some of our places. Um, and we evolved these little guys. No, we didn't yet. Not yet. Our little compies. We're working on getting them there. Ah, I'm out of food again. Ah, drat. But yes, so we're working on getting our little compies there. Let's grab the food. Look at how big our harbor has gotten. We're going to have to upgrade it to the final upgrade uh, pretty soon because we definitely need to keep constant flow of food. But this guy, our Spinosaurus, he is ready to evolve. We managed to get all the research done. Several of you guys pitched in on helping when it comes to like sending friend things. In fact, let's see if I can... Be like, everybody gets a gift. Everybody. Here, you get a gift. You get a gift. You get a gift. You get a gift. Just, like, toss gifts to everybody. I'm not sure how they know. Like, it's usually Dale and Mark who uh, pop by, which is so awesome. So thank you, Dale and Mark. All right. And then let's just go ahead. There we go. Send everybody presents. And look at this little guy. He's ready to hatch. Look at all the little cracks on his egg. He is ready to go. So let's do it. Oh, you're so tiny. He's still kind of a plain coloring, so it's going to be a little while, I think, before he really shines. Yeah, and look at you. Now you're tiny. You're going to be big again one day. And then this little snoozer. Look at him. He's just, like, sound asleep. Hello. Got to collect from your donation box. He's like, no, those are my donations. Tracy's doing well. We need to put down another museum for a quest, I believe. I'm trying to remember, like, which quest. Ah, now it won't let me up. Man, I swear, this zoom in, zoom out thing is so stubborn sometimes. Fine, we get a nice up-close view of everybody. I prefer that over, like, far away view anyway. Mossback is doing great. Uh, the little velociraptors are doing really good. Yeah, look at Annie. Annie's doing good. She's just waving herself around. She's doing great. Coco and Nut are doing good. And our two little tiny guys are doing so well. Our Gallimimus also evolved into their next stage. They now have teensy little stripes. And I would love to see this big old, <laughs> yeah, this big old Brachiosaurus evolve pretty soon. Because it just looks like a Gumby right now. I realized it when it was fighting the other day. I was like, you look just like Gumby. Like a giant Gumby. Which isn't a bad thing, but still. But And then Pebbles is doing good. Look at how much money she gives us. Pebbles, you are amazing. And then there's a new guy I'm really interested in, actually, that I really want to try to get. No, I just want, like, nope, it won't let me, won't let me zoom out. We're permanently stuck here, guys. Oh, well. But are you guys ready for this? Because there's a new limited edition dino that's up, and I want it. <laughs> This is the Feathered Tyrant, I believe, is what his name means. And it is a type of uh, Tyrannosaur that has feathers. And from the research they have done, they think, based off of the fossil formations, or the fossil representation that they have of three specific individuals, they think that these guys may have hunted in groups, family groups. So not only that, but the impressions they have of their skelly skin also indicated feathering. So that was really awesome to me because then we've got the feathers, we've got like hunting in groups, we've got a, a type of tyrannosaur. So this is like really exciting and he's very expensive and I've been hoarding my little buckaroos away for the limited edition animals so we can be like, yeah, let's grab, let's grab like the most awesome ones. Um, oh, we need to put down the Allosaurus. I keep forgetting about that. Like, you know, getting a Stegosaurus and getting a Triandosaurus, but I can't pass up. I can't pass up this beauty, our feathered tyrant. Look at him. Look at him. He's so glorious. So we're going to get him right now. I said right now. Oh, phew. There we go. Okay. So this is going to be, this is going to be a big deal because this is a lot of buckaroos, but I think he's worth it. Oh, <laughs> there go all my bucks. Hi, little one. Oh my 
gosh, I'm so excited about this. Ah, oh, and he's gonna be done in like 12 minutes. That's amazing. That's just gonna be awesome. Let's get some roads built out to see him. So I thought that was really cool because a lot of people are having a hard time still pulling away from the assumption that dinosaurs didn't have feathers. And so there's been that, that big movement to educate people like, no, actually dinosaurs probably had feathers. Uh, while at the same time, like arguing about where those feathers are and how they're located and all of those good things. I'm trying to figure out, let's see, I'm not a good view of our Spinosaurus, but I need room to put down like XP generating things for everybody. In fact, I don't think we want the roads right here because I need to give I need to give you some some things to play with, little dude. Why is this like out in the middle of nowhere? Why isn't it like more centrally located to where you are, little dude? Who knows? We're gonna fix that. Where should I put this? Uh, not there. Maybe I should move little dude over. Ooh, there's an idea because there's lots of space over here. All right, hang on, little dude. Looks like you're gonna scooch. All right, no, nope. I didn't want to move the flower. Also, I'm trying to remember like how many levels you can put on your dinosaurs because I really want to get Pebbles to max level so she can just like lead the way. Lead the way for battle. Lead the way for like everything we do. So that's kind of the goal right now is we're semi-neglecting, I'm going to be honest about it, some of the other herbivores because I want to get Pebbles up to the tip top of what Pebbles can be because she's amazing. All right, there we go. Look at this little guy. Oh, this is going to be awesome. All right, let's see. What else do we need to do? Pebbles, let's feed you. Our big old brontosaurus. She eats like, like, I don't know, the whole world's herds of horses. <laughs> it's so hard to make sure that, that we get enough into this, this little one. Oh, and then we evolved these guys, I'm pretty sure. Here you go. A little bit of food, because they're pretty good fighters. Pebbles, don't chew on your toe. I don't don't want you chewing on it because you broke your toe <sighs> but yes okay so let's see we're gonna need to let's activate the harbor both of them we're gonna need that ah now we're out of money but while we wait for this little guy to hatch let's pop over to the aquatic zone yay we're here oh i totally forgot i finally managed to get these little guys ready to evolve aren't they so cute look at the little tiny eggs tucked into the coral pieces they look like little pearls i freaking love that oh and i also bought the kelp beds which were so expensive but we needed it to finish a mission so let's zip along here and then let's go ahead and check what our expedition team found anything good Ooh, i needed that nice I love these expeditions. They're so fun because they often bring really good stuff in. All right, so let's get our little donkeys hatched up. Ta-da! Look at how cute they are. I think they have more stripes than before. I don't really notice much of a difference, but they've been stuck in the like evolutionary chambers for so long. Oh, yeah, I did a quest. That should calm uh, them down for now. Thank goodness for me. All right, what do you need next, dude? Do you think one can actually contain chaos? It's a philosophical question that we can uh, also put to the test right away. You know what? I, I think you're one of those too smart for your own good turns into mad scientist sort of guys, aren't you? All right, feed three crustivores, collect from three sea creatures. One, two, three. And then you, you, and I don't have enough, dang it. All right, let's activate the harbor a few times. This harbor is so much cheaper. I guess it's because they just like send the little boats out to like swim around with nets and just catch, what, catch what's like available. All right, what else do we have to do? I have two abyss museums. You're who needed another museum. That's right. And then, oh, I, I need to feed these guys like several more times. So we're good there. And we also got some new DNA that we need to like research and analyze, but I'm waiting till we have like a lot of money to do that. So if we pop back over to our park, let's see what missions and quests. Because <laughs> I want my bucks back. I want my bucks back. I want my bucks back. Allosaurus, his favorite carnivore. Ah, uh, but we do get a buck. We do get a buck for doing that. I want the bucks. Uh, oh yeah, we need to expand the park to add more space. Almost forgot about that. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of money. But we need to start doing that over in our little carnivore zone soon. Uh, oh, so let's go ahead and we'll do a storm to try to get a bit more money. I really should put these guys closer together for this, but 
it's kind of okay for now. Kind of. Loosely. I know, guys. I'm sorry. The scary storm's here. The scary... No, you two stop fighting. You know better than to behave like that, you two do. Actually, maybe they don't because they're dinosaurs, but still. Alright, hang on, little baby Spinosaurus. It's okay. I mean, I guess if I was a dinosaur, this would freak me out too. Especially because many of these were probably from areas that weren't exactly jungles. And that's something Ben is doing a great job of teaching me. It's that dinosaurs often lived in like really, really like plains like environments. Very, very little uh, vegetation, very little like water sources, or like very simple. Like there was not a great abundance of trees and grass was not everywhere. It was ferns that most of the herbivores ate. So it's been really interesting learning about those things. All right, time to collect from everybody. Almost out of time. All right, how'd we do? Can we expand the park? Ooh, new high score, sweet. Yay! And we can almost expand the park, so I think Will we wait for a little feathered tyrant to hatch? We should take Pebbles out. What do you think, Pebbles? Oh man, look at everybody. We just start rolling in the coins once once they get moving. Hi guys, I know I gotta evolve so many of you. Alright, Pebbles, you're our main priority. So let's go and let's see if we can put her in some battles so we can expand the park and so we can wait for a little feather tyrant to hatch. I really want to see it. That's going to be so cool. All right. So uh, da, 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 da. I don't think we have any. Yeah, no, no new amber to find. So off to battle. All right. And we are here back into the wilds of the Jurassic Park Island where we are going to let our dinosaurs roam around and proclaim that this is their territory. So far, we've swept the floor all the way up to tw level 24 out of like I think 150 I'm not sure what this means but we're going to come over here and we're gonna send pebbles against this group again level 23 where we have to chase off quite a few different different guys oh my gosh they all look so tough but we're gonna send pebbles up against them because we've kind of got the fangs right now so let's send her in we're going to use our fangs left and right because we need to rebuild our stock of bucks because we totally went through all of our buckaroos getting our new feather tyrant. But I'm so excited about the feather tyrant. I'm not going to lie. Alright, Pebbles. Don't be shy. Charge up and just clear the floor with this guy. Get him out of here. Wow, Pebbles. That was really awesome, actually. Good job. You made him really shy. Oh, it's you, the little smooky face. I love the little smooky faces. They're so cute. They're also a little bit tough because they've got a lot of HP. You're doing good, Pebbles. You're doing good. You sticking around? Oh, no. It's going to try to do a special on us. Oh, wait. No. It jumped away. Okay, never mind. All right. Can we get this guy with just like a charge? Yes. Good job, Pebbles. All right. Block against this little pecker. See? Trying to peck away at you. Not good. Alright, let's see if we can clear this one out. She gets so much stronger every time we level her up. It's really amazing. Alright, go away, little bat thing. Oh, dang it. No! I think that cost us the gold again. Oh, I'm gonna smoosh you! Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Oh dear. Alright, let's bite you. Okay, so that cleared that one out. Good. You! Don't you dare cost me all the gold. I just spent like a hundred something things. Get out of here. Shoot. Yay, Pebbles! But I think we lost the gold just because of that one hit. Ah! Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh! You're kidding me! Look at that! Ah! Dang it! Man, that little bird. Man! Okay, so no buckaroos that time, but we did get a whole lot of money. Um, should we send out... Let's try sending out our Tronodon team to get a little bit more money. We need the money! Alright, you... I think a charge works pretty well. Yep. <laughs> 
the Gallimimus we just need to kind of defend against for a second. And then knock out. Get out of here. Go eat some roasted dragonflies. They're a nice dark red color with a few spots now that they have evolved up. But they're, they're still such a simplistic texture. Oh yeah, clear the Gallimimus out. Um, we'll just block against him. Just cause. And then he, a little Baronatrix. Which I totally pronounced wrong. I, I swear I make up the names for the dinosaurs more than half the time. Yay! Is that enough to feed Pebbles? Maybe that's enough to feed Pebbles. Alright, should I send you out? No, he's not the strongest just yet. Let's do this one. And then let's dive in and we'll see if we can expand the park because we need to expand it before we get the Allosaurus. Alright, let's go ahead and you need a swipe. And he's out of here. And Spinosaurus, hmm. Oh dear, I didn't click fast enough. <laughs> Sorry, little one. He's kind of a big, scary, big giant thing, I know. Hey, back off you. Oh, that's kind of a big, giant, scary, giant thing, too. Let's have your group come and help you out here. Oh, then you're just gonna do it by yourself? You don't even look like you have any teeth. You're so precious. Alright, big old scary Spinosaurus. Using up all my things, even though I should be building the storage back up. I know. Alright, there you go. Good job! Look at the little beak. Oh, all the roasted dragonflies for you. There we go. That's enough for a snack for pebbles. And a little expansion. Um, should we have... Are you gonna come out, Annie? Who could you take out? Annie, could you take out this group? I'm gonna try it. We might be risking it big here. Annie, go ahead and use your special on this one, because this is the big guy. Oh, I love the blue. I just, I think the blue looks so good on her. Alright, shoot Gallimimus. Dang it, I didn't click fast enough. Annie, hang in there. I'm sorry, Annie. I'm just, I'm burning through the fangs for no reason now. Ah, well. Alright, we'll see if Annie can put up with the rest of this. Oh, jeez. Bite. Yeah, I have Spinosaurus. Okay, I might just have to take the loss. Even though we've burned through some of our fangs. Oh no, we could do this if I just block. Back off, Spinosaurus. And he nibble his toes! There you go. Good job. Sorry, Annie. <laughs> I feel so bad when... They're like, I hung on by like 2% of my blood. I didn't die. Alright, our Spinosaurus just popped out, but he's still kind of a wee one. Um, so I'm going to hold on to him for a little bit from the big, big giant things. Let's see, he could probably handle this level. Alright, I forget what you're weak against you. Um, I think it's, is it charge? Ooh, probably. <laughs> Look at the stripe going down his sides now. I have to admit, I am a little bit of a fan of how much more complex they become as time goes on. It's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, okay, this is going to be kind of easy. Alright, headbutt him. Look at those, like, wicked, like, claws. Oh my gosh. I would be, if something like this showed up, especially because Spinosaurus was so huge, I would just not be well. <laughs> My fear of dinosaurs has abated over the years of learning more about them. And then learning more about them only makes me fear them more. Oh my gosh. Alright, so let's go see if our little feathered tyrant is ready to hatch. Should be about time. And I'm very excited about this one. Also, we now have enough coins. We can expand to a new area of the park. Thank you, Tracy. She's always so good about, like, forking over. <gasps> He's ready! He's ready! Oh my gosh, are you guys ready? You guys ready for this? It's gonna be, it's gonna be Nutteroos. Nutteroos! Alright, can I get any closer? 
Rick and Zoom! Curse you! Oh! Yay! There, that's better. Alright. You guys ready? Look at the little cracks. Look at the little the little egg and the little nest and <gasps> is the largest known feathered dinosaur ever discovered. That's what you think. Who knows? They could have all had feathers for all we know. Look at him! You're so cute! Rawr! She's so tough. Here, have some food. There you go. Have some more food. I'm gonna have to work on getting more food for this little one so it's not so little. It's just a baby feathered tyrant right now. But these guys could get up to six me or nine meters, excuse me, estimated uh, length of nine meters long. And I think it's so interesting how the theories are that they might have had a uh, sort of a group system where the more agile younger juveniles would have potentially, this is all just theory, like lots of people have their theories, uh, but there's some theories that say the younger agile juveniles would have chased the prey towards the larger stronger adults and that is how they would have been able to feed everybody so that's that little guy man he's so freaking cute I cannot wait to see what he becomes all right let's pop around here and collect a few things just so we have lots of coinage because I need it all right there we go and you and you I love how many we have now we need to get oh that reminds me there was like this totally cool looking thing that showed up. Oh, I think it would be in like Marketplace. All right, so there's one of those museums. There's a solar station, observation tower, uh, the Hidden Amber. I think this is like a really, a really cute little restaurant, I guess. This is cool. I would really love to get one of these. That just looks awesome. Look, it's a hot air balloon. That's what just opened up. It's a little hot air balloon. <laughs> Triceratops hot air balloon. Isn't that so hilarious? I just cannot believe that. And there's like a little roller coaster. Oh my gosh. I want this thing. But we're just going to wait and see if it unlocks into coins as we go on. Small marsh. The cavern. Freaking cool cavern. I guess the fountains and the caverns are kind of a way of showing off your wealth. You're like, look how many coins I've collected. I can afford to get this. The orange dahlia bed. Uh, sleeping volcano! Oh, that sounds so cool. Okay. So we've definitely got stuff to look forward to over there. And then we need to expand. So which area to expand in? Because I'm going to expand over here. There we go. Because we do still need to continue some of our quests. Hey, I just expanded. Oh, he's not going to figure that out till it's all done. That's right. But we do need to figure out... Um, put our little outsource in because we've got that one who cost a lot of buckaroos and I don't know the one that he's requesting I don't think we've got the amber for it yet all right let's feed pebbles she is our main priority and everybody else is doing really well so there we go except this car that's gonna get lost what happens when it hits the end oh it just vanishes that's fine that's weird I'm gonna do a little loop-de-loop -loop. there we go all done. <laughs> that bugs me when they just like poof into thin air. All right. And it looks like everybody and everything is doing pretty well. So now we just have to wait. I mean, look, we've got a little feather tyrant. How cool is that? So I cannot wait to see where our feather tyrant uh, continues to grow up into. I think it was definitely worth the purchase because it's just cool looking <laughs> and I think it's later evolutions will be really awesome once it gets some color and we get to see what it turns into in the mythical world where we can evolve these guys like just take them in I mean wouldn't that be so weird it's like upgrading your car you just take in your dinosaur get it evolved no biggie you know what these roads are bothering me because now people cannot get anywhere um, they just get to the end and then they get lost so let's just go ahead I know this is silly those cars don't matter but you've got to pretend they matter or else then what matters at all in life dun 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 there now they can loop around I feel better <laughs> but alright guys I will see you next time we will grow up our new little feathered tyrant he needs like a king's name or something a Chinese emperor would be appropriate because their fossils were discovered in China so that would, I'll have to ask Darling because he's an expert in Chinese history. All right, so 
look at our growing family and I will see you guys back here next time where we will continue to try to feed Pebbles even though she demands so much food and we will work our way slowly back up on our dino bucks so that we can hopefully afford other awesome limited edition dinos in the future and look at our tiny little spinosaurus it's just so cute all right I'll see you guys next time Bye bye